Divine Arcana in my own way. I mean, the original meaning, but with a different scene. And, and I also yeah. wanted to do something that I could work on my whole life. Some people think that's weird. But I'm like, I want to work on something I work on my whole life. Oh, I sketch and I study the thing. I have a sketchbook. I have several sketchbooks. It's full of my studies. And then I, um... It just, you mean the study for each card? For each card. Yeah. And I sketch it out. But as you can see, um, it changes a lot. Uh, I, I'm always open to change. I'm not like, okay, it's going to be like this. Right. Like, you know, like I couldn't fit everything I wanted to do on there. Um, I, you know, ended up changing a lot of things as I'm working on it. So I always have to be open to that. And sometimes making big changes. Like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, I have to change this whole thing. And then that's one thing I learned, you know, in painting class was, painting school was, uh, you know, if there's something in the painting that you're really attached to, it probably means you need to get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, you think you've made an accident. It's like a happy accident, that thing. Like, oh, actually, that looks great. And I have a lot of happy accidents. Like, I'll be painting something and I'll see something in a painting like, wow, that totally solves the puzzle to that. And judgment. Um, judgment means, um, it's really intense. It's like, uh, it usually shows an angel blowing in a horn and then people jumping out of their graves. That is a traditional picture. And the elements, yeah, like people coming out of the graves, but also like this strange figure here, which actually I was camping way out in Oregon somewhere a long time ago and I was taking pictures and this weird form came up in it. So I painted that. And then um, I just painted up like, so there's seen it, things we understand like dead bodies. <laughs> people don't understand coming up too, like this weird form, like what is that? Maybe there's like, you know, some people want to call it the fairy realm or there's other dimensions where there's things coming up also. So, um, and then this, this part here is like this figure is waking up this queen with a pomegranate, like the juice from the pomegranate is waking up. And I have a lot of red, looks like blood, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, actually I was painting the... Before I named it Tara the Parmigan, I was I was painting like red, like it looks like blood and like and but also I thought it could be like juice, like pomegranate juice. And the whole symbol of the pomegranate is like life, fertility, all that. It's very fascinating. The history of the pomegranate. And then Paul, like when I met Paul, he was telling me about how the pomegranate is related to the Torah. I look at what you know colors mean, like in tarot, um, in particular. Um, like red, the primary colors, mm -hmm. you know, the red, blue, and yellow, like yellow is like a very spiritual color. Mm. Blue, uh, yellow is like, uh, it's like knowledge and, and spiritual. Blue is like, um, uh, inner, like more from the inner, inner self. Red is like more powerful, like coming out, mm. um, physical. So I try to think of that, but also think of, uh, and white is internal or just kind of a, all, all colors. Also black is like all colors kind of mm. combined, kind of the, black can also be very pure, black and white, the whole black and white thing. So, you know, just what I've learned from painting, like colors that look good together, how it looks in a painting, um, that kind of thing too. Mm. But yeah, that's, I try to really keep in touch with like, the symbols of the colors with the with the um, tarot and its meanings, um, and the pomegranate. Uh, on average, it takes like you know, it could take like eight months mm. to do one of these big paintings. Mm -hmm. um, a little smaller painting could take you know two to four months. Mm -hmm. um, like you know, yeah, like this one. I started the sketches in two thousand and six, mm -hmm. and it's now two thousand and nine. Um, but I have not been working on it continuously all that time. I put it to the side and this and that. So mm -hmm. I would say all together. And then, you know, you have to wait for paint to dry mm -hmm. and things like that before you put the next layer on. Mm -hmm. Um, so like this one, gosh, I could just only say in months. Like mm -hmm. they, the big ones take four to eight months about. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of paintings on display right now. This one's on display. Cool. Uh, the cups is on this oh, one. This one. Mm. So here's the judgment card. Let's see. This one. Very cool. And hangman, of 
course, it's not in here yet. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> a lot of cards. I have a lot of paintings on display right now. This one's on display. Cool. Uh, the cups is on this oh, one. This one. Mm-hmm. I got seven of cups and five of cups on display right now. Where are they on display? Um, at Vino Verity on Capitol Hill. It's the first probably female hermit ever made. <laughs> Actually, mm-hmm. I've never seen, well, except for, like, the mother goddess tarot. There's one that's, like, only women in the whole deck. That doesn't really count, though, because they mm-hmm. had a agenda on that one. This one, I just ended up being, it was going to be a man. I'd actually photographed a model, a guy, to do, be the hermit. Mm-hmm. And it just didn't look right. Mm. So I just did myself. 